combinations to Miriam Fettis' song So it's really important to consider the context of the song that you want to dance to. So just to give you an idea, I'm not going to translate every word, but this song is playful and flirtatious and basically she's singing to her love interest that she's going to give him a hard time, um, tease him and essentially make him kind of want her, but she's going to be playing hard to get. So let's get started. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the type of technique that we're gonna be using for these movements. Um, some of you guys reached out in your comments and you asked me to spend a little more time on the technique, so here goes. So um, our main combination that we're gonna work with is going to start with a hip circle. So let's take our hips into a hip circle. So uh, the trick with the hip circle is that you wanna make it nice and even. So you're gonna take it right, back, left, center. Notice my knees are straight when I do the hip circle. If I bend my knees, it starts to look like a different movement. So make sure that your knees are straight when you're doing this hip circle. Let's do it to the other direction. One and two and three and four. Reverse. One and two and three and four. Excellent. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to pair the hip circle with a foot pattern so that it's essentially going to allow us to travel. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my right foot, cross it over my left, and I'm gonna step one, two, three, touch four. Then I'm gonna reverse one, two, three, touch four. So that's basically what the feet are gonna do. We're gonna layer the hips over that. So when I cross my right foot forward, my hip is gonna go back. When I open my feet, my hips come forward. So when I cross, my hips go back. When I open, my hips come forward. Same thing to the other direction. I'm gonna cross my left over my right, the hips go back. Open, the hips come forward. So it goes around in a circle. So let's try that in rhythm. Five, six, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? Um, so we have two move movements here with the hip circle. We're going right and left, but we're also going forward and back. So if I stand profile and I show you, it's gonna look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're rocking your pelvis back and forth and your hips are sliding left and right. So that's gonna be the first part of our combination that's gonna repeat throughout the song, throughout the verses of the song. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From here, I'm gonna take my right foot back, step, touch, step, touch. I'm gonna cross my right foot behind me I'm going to turn and I'm going to do two omis. Omi, omi. It's totally up to you which direction you want to omi. We all have a good and bad side. Um, so when we try the combination starting on the opposite leg, I do encourage you to try to omi in the other direction. Um, just to clarify what an omi is, I'm going to take my hips to the side, to the front, to the opposite side, and release. So when my hip is up to the right, my right leg is straight, my left leg is bent. When I bring my pelvis forward, I'm going to squeeze my glutes and contract. So both knees are soft. Then I'm gonna shift it to the other side. My left leg becomes straight, my right leg becomes bent, and then I'm going to release the pelvis back in this kind of a position. So ultimately, as you do your omi, you're gonna have a nice even circle. 
the juicier, the way to make your omi juicy is to really engage your glutes. So I'll come closer. So if I don't engage my glutes, it starts to look like a hip circle. If I do engage my glutes, it starts to be much more juicy. So if you want to try one direction and the other, we have right, forward, left, back, right, forward, left, back. Take it around and around and around. And I think we have a movement where it's gonna come here to our hair. And then you can reverse the direction. Left, center, right, back, left, squeeze, right, back. And then as you smooth it out, you have a nice gooey circle. So let's review what just happened. We have circle two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna take it back on the right. Step, hip, step, hip. Just two of those. I'm going to cross, turn, omi, omi. All right, let's try that again. Five, six, here we go. One, two, three, accent. Five, six, seven, accent. From here, when I take it back, if you're feeling comfortable with the feet, you can add a little baby undulation. One, two, three, four, five, six, omi, omi. All right? Super. So let's do that two times in the row. Five, six, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, take it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Okay, now let's move on to the combination for the chorus of the song. The other movement that I want to talk a little bit about technique involves the hip drop. So it's really, really common belly down step, probably belly dance 101, um, but there are a few different ways to do it. So um, in our combination, we're going to start on the right leg. So your left leg is soft, your right leg is bent, and make sure that your right heel is up. For, you, for when you start the movement. I also like to tell my students, keep your belly button visible in the mirror or just visible for whatever surface you're dancing in front of because to dance it this way, you kind of kill the line. So this nice diagonal line um, is what makes the hip drop beautiful. So we're really gonna work our obliques here and we're gonna lift and drop, lift and drop, lift and drop, lift and drop. So the accent in our case is gonna be down. So don't lift it sharply. The lift is like, and drop. So the um, accent is when your hip comes down. And the way that you're gonna get a crispy accent is if you squeeze the opposite glute. So if I'm dropping my right hip, I'm going to squeeze my left hip. So we have drop, lift, then I'm going to release my foot and my hip. Kick, lift again. One more time. Drop, lift, kick, lift. Drop, lift, kick, lift. Um, you're gonna do two of those. One, two, three, four. Then you're gonna press forward, back. I'm gonna put my heel down, half circle to the other side. Same thing here with the technique. Now my right leg is flexible. My left leg is on the ball of my foot, keeping that heel up. My torso is facing forward. And you can do arms letter L. You can put your arms here. I'll let you guys style the arms. But uh, the oblique is the same thing that's um, responsible for this movement. So we're gonna go and drop and kick. And drop, lift, kick, lift. Drop, lift, kick, lift, drop, lift, kick, lift. Excellent. And now you want to squeeze your uh, right glute. One, two, three, four. From here, you're going to push forward. Five, bring it back. Six, seven, face the front. Eight. Okay, so let's try both sides together. Five, six, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, back to the front. All right, so that's gonna happen in our course. The other thing that I wanna to talk to you about is the figure eight. So
So we have a figure eight that can be horizontal and we have figure eights that are vertical. So we're gonna use both types of figure eights in our combinations. Let's talk about the first one, the horizontal eight. So your feet are shoulder width apart and you're gonna twist. You're gonna bring your right hip forward, twist, push on the front diagonal, twist on the back diagonal, and then send that left hip forward on the diagonal as well. So we're gonna go back, push, twist, push, twist, push, twist, push. So once you get in the flow of it, it should look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. So sometimes there are variations of this twist, um, often called the Egyptian twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm doing a little bit of a contraction um, as I'm twisting, but we'll save that for another time. All right, so that's our horizontal eight. Let's talk about the vertical eight. The vertical eight, once again, is going to be using our obliques. So the vertical eight that we have is gonna come from down to up. So we're gonna push off one, bring it up, squeeze the oblique, two, other side, three, four, five, six, and then we're gonna do three quick ones, seven and eight. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So three slow and then three quick ones. All right, so, so far we've done the traveling hip circle side to side. We've done back touches. We've done omis. Then we talked about the hip drop on both sides. All right, and now we've talked about the horizontal eight and the vertical eight. All right, so there's one more, again, belly dance 101 movement, the camel or the undulation. So with the undulations or figure eights, even though the movement stays the same, you can dress it up with different arm movements. So for example, for the slow eight that we did, we can have the arms come up the body. I can also do the same movement with the arms coming through the body. I can hold my hair. I can, I can use something um, more gestury with the arm. So even though the movements stay the same and when, when we repeat them in the combinations, feel free to jazz it up with different arm styling. All right, so back to our undulation. I'm gonna break it down really quick. So we're going to lift the rib cage on one, one, tucking the tummy in. As I arch back, I'm going to release the stomach on two. From here, I'm going to contract three, and I'm going to roll through, push it out, four. Then I'm going to start all over. I'm going to lift the chest. One, bring it back. Two, contract. Three, push it through. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nice. So again, with the speed of this, we're going to play with it. So similar how we had three slow eights and then three quick ones. Here we're going to have two slow camels. One, two, three, four, five, six, double, double. So three slow, two quick ones. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, double, double, right? And you can choose if you want to keep them going the same direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, double, double. One, two, three, four, five, six, double, double. All right. All right, so one more element of technique I want to talk about um, is about shimmies. So you may know that we have a variety of different types of shimmies in belly ups. Um, in this particular routine, we're going to be using the Egyptian shimmy, which is coming from bending and straightening your knees. Don't think about speed, think about being even. So if you start going too fast, you're gonna end up doing this. Not sure if you can even see that. You're gonna end up doing this, which is a tension shimmy. So what you wanna do is have a nice, relaxed, 
relaxed and loose shimmy. And so if you look profile, I'm doing bend straight, bend straight, bend straight. Do not pick up your heels. So don't do this, right? That is not an Egyptian shimmy. The heels are planted firmly in the ground and you're moving your knees forward and back. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. The other type of shimmy we're gonna do is the shoulder shimmy. So the shoulder shimmy, contrary to common belief, does not depend on the size of your chest. So think about moving your shoulders. One, two, one, two, an alternation. Come closer. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. As you get faster, it turns into a shimmy. So we're gonna do shoulder shimmy, and then we're gonna keep the shoulder shimmy and move the rib cage around. Um, any direction, again, that you feel more comfortable, but for the benefit of our body and muscle memory, really try to work both sides. All right, so we have Egyptian shimmy, we have shoulder shimmy. There's one more that we're gonna do, it's gonna be the twist shimmy. So knees are locked and straight, very different from the Egyptian shimmy. Knees are straight, I'm gonna go twist, 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 and get it going. Kind of like a little washing machine. Um, what you really want to uh, be careful and avoid is this, that everything turns into the twist. Um, so again, really isolate. Use your trapezius muscles to press down and isolate so that just your hips are moving. Once you feel comfortable with that, try experimenting, stepping out to the side and shifting your weight around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. So, Egyptian shimmy, shoulder shimmy, twist shimmy. All right, those are the shimmies that we're gonna be using. All right, I think that covers all of our technique. So let's jump into learning the choreography. So uh, the beginning of this song has this very beautiful but very oddly placed tango introduction. Um, and then the Saidi rhythm kicks in and that's when we'll start our actual um, dance sequence, but for the very, very beginning, for the intro, um, why don't we just play with a combination like this? So you're going to be facing back, okay? Um, and I'll show you facing forward, but essentially you can start the routine facing back, and you're going to take your hips to the side four times. We're going to do one, two, three, four. You're going to take it into that figure eight, but step out with it five, six, seven, eight. Then you're gonna change direction. One, two, three, four. Step out to the side with the left leg. Five, six, seven, eight. Repeat. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So we're gonna do it four times, all right? I'm gonna face the back now and show you what it looks like from behind. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Da 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 da. One, two, three, four. Da 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 da. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Last one. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So as you can see, I've dressed each combo up with different arms so that the movement doesn't look so repetitive. However, when you do these hip accents, especially facing back, you really want to work those glutes to make it percussive. All right, from there, we're going to turn, doesn't matter, left shoulder, right shoulder, whatever is more convenient for you, four count turn. One, two, three, four, and that's it. So just go ahead and face the front, all right? So, from here, once you face the front, you're going to take your right foot and step. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna add a little tango circle here. Seven, eight, cross with that same left foot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let me back up, six. And from here, I'm gonna slide my foot in and do a big juicy hip circle because you'll hear the music really slow down. Let's do all of that one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. 
One, two, three, four. Figure eight, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Right, left, right, left. Now start the opposite. Left, right, left, right. Five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna turn to the front. One, two, three, four. Tango walks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Draw a circle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Close the feet. Big hip circle. All right? And here is where the Saidi rhythm kicks in. So, instead of doing a regular hip drop just for fun for the beginning, so it's amazing and interesting, we're gonna do Saidi rhythm hips. So that means we're gonna do down, up, down, down, kick. Down, up, down, down, kick. So the Saidi rhythm is boom, back, boom, boom, back. Low, high, low, low, high. So on the dooms is when your hip goes down, on the tak is when your hip is going to go up. So that means down, up, down, down. When you have double downs right after each other, don't go all the way down on the first one. So you're going to go all the way down, all the way up, and then halfway, whole way to bring it all the way up again. So we have down, up, down, down, release. Down, up, down, down, release. Before you release, it has to come up or you'll make this mistake. Down, up, down, down, release, right? And it's kind of hard to release from a down position. So you need to take that extra breath to lift it before you release. Really work that oblique. So here we go. Down, up, down, down, release. Down, up, down, down, release. From here, you're gonna take it into a hip circle. Um, Sorry, you're gonna take it into a hip drop rotating in a circle. One, two, three, four. So just two to get around. So we said down, up, down, down, release. Down, up, down, down, release. One, two, three, four. Then the music cuts, hit. You're gonna step out to the right. Hit, contract, two camels. Seven, eight. All right? With counts, here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Hit five, contract six, seven, eight. All right, let's try that with music. combination. So your weight is currently on your right. When we start, you're going to step on your left and cross the right for the beginning of the combination. So we said five, 
six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Cross, turn, omi, omi. Now you're gonna repeat that, but this time you're gonna start on your left, going to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now your left is gonna go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, omi, omi. All right, let's try that much with music. So the hip drop combination starts one, two, three, four, front, back, hip circle. One, two, three, four, front, back, hip circle. From here, you're going to step out on your right into a twist shimmy four times. One, two, three, four. Close your feet on four. You're going to need two shoulder shimmies five, six, and then shimmy on your tippy toes to draw and trace your body and point up. Uh, she says, yeah, Habibi de Badak, which means in your dreams. So really think of like making it a little sassy. So one, two, like, no, you're never gonna get me, not even in your dreams, all right? And a very Egyptian thing to do. They like to take their two fingers and kind of outline and point up. Yeah? All right, so let's try that whole course. Ready? Hip drop. Oh, one thing I forgot to tell you. To make this um, a little more stylized, instead of doing my hip drop on the ball of my foot, I'm actually dropping my heel. One, two, three, four. So I have a, a larger like wave amplitude um, with my hip because it's kind of slow. So uh, I really want to milk it and I'm really using that heel to do it. So one, two, three, four, touch, touch, hip circle. And I'm doing a bit of a hairography there. Touch, touch. Notice I'm not just doing this. When I come around, I purposely let my hair fall to the side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twist. One, two, three, four. You can even look side to side because she's saying no, 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 no. One, two, three, four. Shoulder, oh sorry, close on four. Five, six, in your dreams. So I'm doing this little, it's called a choo-choo shimmy. I know we didn't talk about it in our technique, but it's like, I'm kind of traveling forward. So my knees are soft and I'm using my hips, my obliques. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So I'm going from twist, which is straight knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, choo-choo shimmy point. All right, let's try it. Here we go.
shoulders. Okay, so the chorus is going to repeat two times in a row. So essentially we have these groups of two. You repeated the hip circle combination twice. After that, we're going to repeat the chorus twice. At the end of the second chorus, there's a little drum solo. So on that drum section, we're going to do Egyptian shimmy. One, two, three, four shoulders, five, let's take it right, left, in a circle. One more time. One, two, three, four. Shoulders, five, six, seven, eight. Then there's two accents. Pop, pop. We're going to pop the chest up. Pop, pop. Then you're going to do contraction shimmy. Da, ga, da, ga, da. So for that one, I'm going to contract my stomach and uh, use my back. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Yeah? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, pop. One, two, da, 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 pop, six, arm, arm. One more time. One, two, three, four, shoulders, five, six, seven, eight, pop it. One, two, da, 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 pop, breathe, arm. Arm. Let's try just that with music. Six, seven, eight. Circle, pop. Nice. Okay, so after we finish that shimmy section, ba, ba, da, 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 five, six, seven, eight. You're gonna give me that hip circle combination again. One, two, three, four. Five, six, take it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then she's gonna repeat the la 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 part of the chorus. So we're gonna start from the twist shimmy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, pop eight. All right? From here, there's like this amazing instrumental break where there are no words. So I'm going to teach you one more combination, and from that point on, we're just going to uh, repeat, repeat, repeat. All right, so you finished. Pop. So we're going to do those vertical eights here. Remember, three slow, three fast. So let's do the feet first, then we'll add arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. From here, we're going to do undulations. One, two, three, four, five, six, two small ones, seven, eight. So we had three slow eights, uh, three quick eights, three slow camels, two quick camels. From here, your weight should be on your left foot. We're gonna take it into hip circles. We're gonna go push together, push, tuck, push together, push, tuck. If you feel comfortable doing this in a line, you can always rotate it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But if not, it's totally cool. The same hip circle movement that we talked about before, this time instead of crossing, I'm gonna step open, close, open, close. So one, two, three, contract, five, six, seven, contract. So from here, your right foot should be free. You're gonna give me a turn. One, two. You're gonna step out with that foot into a big giant hip circle. Three, four, five, six. So your weight should be here. Seven, eight. Da, 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 da. The music goes da, 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 da. All right, let's try that again. Five, six from the eight. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and camel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hip circle. One, two, three, tuck, five, six, seven, turn it. One, two, three, four, five, six, da, 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 da. And repeat. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, and camel. One, two, three, four, five, six, small, small. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn it, step it out. Five, six, da, 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 da. And that repeats three times. So if you mess it up the first time, you got two more to redeem yourself. Let's try just that new section with music. Here we go.
we're almost done. So after you've done the hip circle combination to both sides, we're going to do half of one more chorus. Hip, drop, three, four, five, six. You're going to face the back. You're going to give me a nice shimmy of your choice and improvise your walk off stage. All right. So are you ready to take it from the top? Okay, let's walk through it with counts from the top first and then we'll do it with music. The very first thing we have are those hip accents. After you dramatically walk on, we have the odd but beautiful tango section. One, two, three, four. Da 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 da. One, two, three, four. Da 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 da. One, two, three, four. This is the third one. Last one. Oh, that's the wrong hip. One, two, three, four. Da 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 da. Then you face the front, turn two, three, four, and you have your tango walk starting with your right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Draw a circle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Big juicy circle. Then you have Saidi rhythm hips. Down, up, down, down, kick. Down, up, take it in a circle, kick. One, two, three, four. We hit, contract, camel, camel. And you start your combination. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry. Then you start your combination. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, take it back. One, two, three, four, hook, turn, gooey, gooey. Other side, left leg cross. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From here, you have your chorus. One, two, three, four, front, back, take it around. One, two, three, four, five, six, face the front, shimmy. One, two, three, four, shoulder, shoulder, choo choo in your dreams. All right, from here, we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now cut to the chorus, shimmy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pop. And we have shimmy. Two, three, four. Shoulder, shoulders, take it around. Pop, pop. Dugga, dugga, da. Pop. Ah. Arm, arm. All right. We repeat combo one. And then we have the interlude section. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hip circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna turn. One, two, take it into hip circle. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two and a half of those, the last thing we do is pop, pop, and you're gonna go into the chorus one more time. After we do the chorus, go back to the hip circle combo, and that's it. So let's take it from the top with music. Thank you. 
I'm gonna do it one more time. This time I'm gonna face away from you and do the whole routine. Uh, perhaps that might be easier for you to learn. So up until now I've been mirroring you, but now I'm going to face the back and maybe it'll be a different perspective. Congratulations. Um, I hope you had a good time. I hope you worked up a sweat. I sure know I did. Uh, drop me some comments below. Give me some feedback. Uh, was this good enough technique explanation for you? Did you have fun? Uh, film yourself learning the dance and share it with me. That would be really cool as well. Um, so I hope to see you again next time. Happy dancing!